Hey guys, welcome to the next data science tutorial and today we will talk about matplotlib. So matplotlib is one of the Python libraries which is used to create 2D graphs and plots by using Python script. It has a module whose name is pyplot which is used here to make the things easy for plotting by providing features to control line style, phone properties, etc. So here by using this library we can create histograms, bar graphs, pie charts etc. And to use this library we will have to import it first. So let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and I'll also import numpy because I'll use some method of numpy as well so import numpy as mp. So here I have imported these two libraries and let's draw something, let's draw a line and to draw a line, let's say I have two variables a and b and the value of a is let's say 1, 2, 3 and the value of b is 4, 5, 6. So these are my two variables which I'll use to, to plot a line. So for that I'll use plot method and in bracket I'll pass A and B then comma here I'll use B B is for blue color and asterisk asterisk is the marker which is used to mark the points and uh, to show the output I'll use show method and here you can see the output so the value of A is 1 and B is 4 so this is the first point the value of a is 2 and b is 5 there is the second point and in the same way there is a third point so these are the markers which are in blue color so you can also check it out how many colors or markers are available in this library so for that you will simply use shift tab and here is a plus point just click on that and just scroll it down to check how many colors are available that we can use here so if you'll go down here you can see the colors that you can use B is for blue color that I have used here in the same way you can use G, R, C, green, red, cyan, magenta, yellow so these are the colors that you can use in your program and if you'll go down then you will come to know how many markers are available that you can use here so you can use these markers in your program so if you'll go down you will find out the marker this here is the asterisk marker that I have used here which we call it as star marker so we have used star marker here so with the same values you can also plot in this way let's say a comma b I have passed the value and this time I will use some styling so line width let's say 5 and line style let's say I will use dashed and to print the output I'll use show method and here you can see the styling that I've used here line width is 5 and the styling is dashed you can also use other styling let's say hyphen dot and if you run the output here you can see the new styling so in this way you can use any styling in your program so now let's see how we can draw uh, multiple lines in a single graph and how we can differentiate those lines means how we can uh, assign a name of those lines and assign a name of x-axis and y-axis and so on so let's see how we can implement them now let's assign some values to the variables let's say you have a variable a and the value of a is let's say one two three so these are the values of a and the values of p uh, let's say 4 5 6 and let's say you have x variable and the values are let's say 2 4 6 and you have one more variable that is y and the values are 6 7 8 so now we have these four variables and we will use them to plot so I'll use plt again then plot and in bracket first I'll pass these two variables and I'll use label this time and label is 
line one and I'll use line style which is let's say hyphen dot so my line style is this and the label is line one so why I am using this label so label is basically used to assign the name so line one is the name of the line which I'll plot by using these two variables so in the same way I'll use I'll plot another line and this time I'll pass X and Y and I'll use label this time I'll not use any line style so it will uh, by default draw a single line so my label would be uh, line 2 so for this line the name of line would be line 2 my first line name is line 1 and the second line name is line 2 so label is basically used to assign the name now I'll assign the title of my graph so I'll use title and the name would be sample graph and uh, now I'll assign the name to x-axis and y-axis for that I'll use plt dot x label and the name would be x-axis in the same way I'll use plt dot y label and the name would be y axis and to show the output I'll use show method and here you can see the output here I have two line this is by default I have not used any styling in this line so you can see it's a simple one and here I have used styling and I have used styling in the first line so you can see the difference now why I have used these names that I'll show you so I'll use plt dot legend and if I will run this program now you can see the box which is showing on the left hand side so it uh, automatically finds the best place to get visible on the graph so this is the best place uh, accordingly and legion is basically used to show the name of the lines which you have drawn here so I have two lines and both the lines name are visible here and you can easily differentiate the lines here so in this way you can assign the names and you can display the names of the lines and also you can see X axis and Y axis and I have used title so the title of this graph is sample graph that I have given here so this is how you can draw multiple lines and assign the values or names you can say to the lines in your program now let's see how we can draw a bar graph now we already have a uh, values X and Y that you can see here I'm copying again just for you so these are the values and to draw a bar graph I'll use plt dot bar and in bracket I'll pass X and Y and if you run it then here you can see your bar is created so in this way you can create a bar graph and you can use some styling here let's say you can increase the width let's say 1.3 and here you can see the changes in the width of the graph and you can also change the alignment for that you will use align equals to edge and if you will see the output so this time you can see here it start from 2 the value of x is 246 that you can see here it starts from 2 then 4 then 6 so earlier it was like that I will show you the difference drawing like that if you see the graph then 2 is in the middle 4 is in the middle and 6 is also in the middle so it's not started from edges so if you use this edge here then it will start from 2 4 6 the edges that we are talking about now let's say you have a data like this uh, here you have a company name and here is the revenue so 
you want to draw a, a bar graph so how will you do that so here I'll use let's say expose this is the variable you can use anything let's say X is the variable that I've used and I'll create an array so here you will see the use of numpy methods so np dot arrange and in bracket I'll use len method and I'll use company so the length of the company is one two three four four so here it will create an array of four and by using this array I'll plot a bar graph so I'll use bar and if I'll use edge here then it will change the position of the bars this time it would be horizontal so here these are vertical and if I'll if you'll use edge then it will be changed to horizontal so we'll see the output and here I'll use this time X comma then revenue and then I'll use plt dot show and if you run here you can see the output here I've used bar edge so instead of vertical this time it's horizontal if you'll remove edge then then it will change to horizontal to vertical so I have created an array here so which you can see if I'll print X then it will show you the array so this is my array which I have created here and then I have used these values to draw a bar in this way also you can create an array and use it to create a bar now I will show you how you can create a pie chart let's say you have these values and uh, I have a variable V and uh, a variable lab and these are the values of these variables and to draw a pie chart I'll use plt dot pie and in bracket I'll pass V and labels equals to lab so on the basis of the values V it will divide the section of the pie chart and these would be the name of those sections so if I run the program here you can see the output so this is the maximum part this is 1400 then 600 300 410 and 250 so there I have total five values and five names that you can see here so it has divided accordingly and if you want to see the percentage of every section you want to display the percentage here in every section then for that you will use auto PCT equals to percentile let's say 1.3 F percentile percentile so if you run the code then here you can see the percentage is now showing so it is showing me up to three values after decimal so you can change it to let's say two and if you run the program then here you can see it is showing me up to two so 47.30 here it is 8.45 and so on so in this way you can display the percentage and if you want to take out some part let's say this part you want to take out from this chart then for that you can use explode equals to and in bracket you will use let's say 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 1 2 3 4 5 so I have five sections so I have used five values here and I want to take only one part out for that I have used 0 0.1 and you can also increase the radius let's say you can change it to 1.5 so uh, it's explode so here you can see the output now it's more clear I have increased the radius and this part it has taken out so in this way also you, you can make the changes in your pie chart and you can also save this pie chart in the folder where this file is placed so for that you can use plt.save fig 
and you can save it in jpg format and in png format in any format you would like to save let's say here i'll give the name let's say pie chart dot jpg and then i'll use bbox underscore inches equals to tight so we use this because nothing should be removed or deleted from the pie chart and we can also use pad inches let's say it's 2 so here you are giving the size of this pie chart that you are going to save so here I'll give 2 and then I'll run it and you can see the folder where the, your this file on which you are working is saved so this is the folder where my this file is saved and here you can see this is the JPEG and this is what I've just saved so in this way you can save the pie chart in your folder so guys this was all about this matplotlib library uh, which is available in Python so I hope you like this video so thank you so much for giving your time have a good day